Good morning goat lovers, this is Crystal here with Blue Cactus Dairy Goats and I've had a lot of questions uh, surrounding how it is that you actually milk a goat. So I have Dawn here and here it is early in the morning and it's time to milk. I milk every morning and every night. Um, so I'm going to show you guys how easy it can be done. Alright, so first you're always going to have to have the grain or the scratch. Um, I just actually use little pellets that are packed full of protein with a little bit of scratch. Um, just, just chicken scratch, they go crazy for the cracked corn. So that really doesn't have much nutritional value for them, but it just makes them happy to get milked. So, I'll just give them a little bit of that to keep them happy and calm. And you're always going to want to wipe off the teats. And the surrounding area. I even get their underbelly here a little bit just to make sure if they were laying down the dirt, um, anything like that didn't get in there. You get rid of the first couple of squeezes. Okay, so she's all cleaned up. I'm going to put the pan under her. And here, let's cooperate, honey. Okay. So what you're looking for um, with your hands, you're really pinching it off um, up here in between your finger and your thumb. You're going to be pinching off the teat and then you will pretty much drain it out depending on how large the teat is. You're just going to be pushing your fingers to drain it out of that teat. But the most important part is making sure that you are, you know, cutting off that amount of milk in the teeth, and then you push the rest out with your fingers. So that is the most important part. If I'm just pushing the teeth like this, you guys are gonna be here forever. I mean, it comes out, but you'll be there forever. So um, this is a very dairy girl. She, she produces a lot of milk. So I get up as high as I can, I cut it off, and I'm squeezing it out, if you guys can see that. Now, her teats aren't as large as, say, a Nubian would be or some of my other does. Um, so I pretty much am only using my pointer finger for this one. But if it was a larger teat, you know, you would cut it off in between your thumb and your pointer. And then you would continue to use your other fingers depending on how large the teat is. <laughs> but it is just that easy. And anybody... Um, who hasn't milked a Nigerian, it is not as hard as you would think it is. Um, a lot of people are, are turned off by the smaller teats, but it, it's extremely easy. I have milked all kinds of sizes of teats as far as Nigerians are concerned. I prefer the larger teated ones, but the, the smaller teated ones can, can very easily be hand milked also. Especially when they're dairy, um, you can get a lot further up so it's almost like you're not only milking the tea, but um, partially up on the udder. So as you guys see, and obviously if I wasn't holding a camera, I would be doing it with both hands. And it's just that easy.
All right, guys, so it is truly just that easy. And then you have fresh milk that you know where it came from, and it tastes a lot better than in the stores. So if you have any questions, please just ask. Please like and subscribe to my page, and there'll be more videos to come.